Hello everyone, how are you all doing today? So today we are going to start polynomials division algorithm topic. So in this class, we will be discussing how easily and quickly we can solve the division of polynomials and we shall discuss the basic steps of how to do this division algorithm. Okay, so this session will help you to solve your polynomials division very easily. So stay tuned till the end of the session and let's start. So division algorithm of polynomials, usually it's an essay question. If they give you very small division, then they will ask you for a short answer. Okay, so whatever it is, the even if it is an essay question or a short, the process is the same. Okay, so let's start. So let me give you one example. So divide, divide the polynomial p of x by g of x. Okay, this is the question. So now p of x is given as, p of x is given as x cube minus 3 x square plus 5 x minus 3 and g of x is given as x square minus 2. So before you start the solution, there are two important steps which you need to understand. First, you need to arrange your given polynomial in order of degree. Okay. For example, here I have x cube is a highest degree, highest degree term okay highest power term so x cube then i should have x square then x term then the constant so this is already in order similarly you should arrange your g of x also okay in order so x square i have i don't have x term but then i have the constant okay so it is also in order so it should be in descending order big order to small okay and then the next point is this is called the bigger polynomial which you are going to divide is called the dividend and the smaller polynomial by which you are going to divide is called divisor. Okay, so the dividend I write it here and then the divisor I write it here. Okay, so first first step uh, check is you have checked whether it is in order or not. It has to be in descending order of the degree. Okay, so once it is done you, you wrote it in the format. And now, and now you don't have to think anything. I'll tell you only two steps which you need to manually follow for each division. Okay. So the first step. The first step is. Okay. So the first step is you will take the first term of the dividend. I told you this is the dividend. So you will take the first term of dividend which is x cube and you will divide this by the first term of the divisor which is x square. So x cube divided by x square will give you x. So this x which you got is the first term of your quotient. If you get plus x you write plus x, if you get minus x you write minus x. Don't ever think of the sign. Okay ma'am will it be a plus or a minus? Please don't think okay so just follow the steps which i am giving you so this is the first step sign will automatically come okay you will just take along with the sign you will, don't have to think about the sign so first step is done see the second step second step is okay you i got the quotient so with this quotient i will multiply the divisor what is my divisor x square minus 2 i told you this is a divisor so multiply and see x x into x square is x cube x into minus 2 is minus 2x. Never worry about the signs. Okay. So, this term which you got, please write it here. So, x cube. Now, be very careful. This is x square term and here you will write your x term. Understood? So, x square term, you don't have anything. So, it is actually a 0. So, I can write it as 0 into x square. Okay. If you want, you can write. Otherwise, also you can leave this space empty. No problem. Now, you will subtract like how you do for the normal division. So when you subtract x cube and x cube gets cancelled. So this minus 3x square comes down as it is. And this becomes plus, isn't it? Changing the signs. 5x plus 2x will give you 7x. And I can bring down the remaining term minus 3. So this is my new divisor now. Okay, so this what I got here is the new divisor. This one is a new divisor. This is a new divisor. It's not visible on this. Okay. So anyhow, this is the new divisor. Okay. This which I shaded now in green is the new divisor. So now. 
so when you got your new divisor again you will repeat the step one so the new divisor is this sorry new dividend is this i'm so sorry this is the new dividend okay so first term of the new dividend divided by the first term of the divisor which is x square so x square x square gets cancelled i have minus 3 so this minus 3 i asked you to write where in the quotient so should i write plus 3 no it is minus 3 i have with minus sign so directly i'll write the minus so that's why i said don't worry about the sign sign will automatically come okay if it is a plus you will write plus if it is a minus directly you can write minus you don't have to think second step is with this answer which you got okay you will multiply the divisor so minus 3 into this is minus 3 x square minus 3 into minus 2 is plus 6 now this you will write it here so minus 3x square plus 6 x term you don't have divided by now here i need to subtract to get cancelled minus 3 and plus 3 i can cancel okay so i told you here if you want you can keep it empty or if you want you can write 0x which is nothing but 0 again so bringing this down 7x comes down and minus 3 minus 6 is minus 9 okay and now you can see here yeah have a look here so you got minus 9 now this is nothing but one second so you got 7x minus 9 now this is 7x minus 9 is nothing but your reminder okay you will stop the division here the reason now this is a linear polynomial 7x the degree is 1 and here in the divid divisor you can see you have x square term okay so whenever your reminder is of a less degree x square means that the degree is 2 here 7x minus 9 the degree is 1 so when the degree of your when the degree of your reminder okay is less than this divisor you will stop it here okay and this will be your final reminder is it clear and this will be your quotient now when you check okay if you multiply your divisor and the quotient so x square minus 2 into x minus 3 and add your reminder to this so you have to get your dividend dividend is x cube minus 3x square plus 5x minus 3 did you all understand this okay so let's take one more question suppose if i have this polynomial say x power 4 minus 5x plus 6 i need to divide by g of x is 2 minus x square okay this is p of x so when i have a polynomial like this so now x power 4 minus 5x plus 6 this is in the order only now g of x you see it is not in order you have co constant first and x square co x square term so what i'll do is i'll write x square term first and then the constant now when you do so just remember that x square term has a negative sign so you will write along with the negative sign 2 is positive so it comes here so it is minus x square plus 2 so when you write please be careful it is minus x square plus 2 okay so now what is the first step i told you first step is this is the first term of the dividend x power 4 and this is the first term of the divisor just divide it so x power 4 by x square will give you x square and you have a minus sign also so along with this minus sign just write it in the quotient okay i told you this is a quotient isn't it so you're writing it in the quotient now second step is with this minus x square you will multiply your divisor x square plus 2 so that is equal to x square into x square is x power 4 minus into minus is plus x square into minus 2 is minus 2x square okay so here i got x power 4 minus 2x square now if you very clearly see very clearly see i don't have 2x x square term here and i have only x term but here i got x square term so i cannot simply write it this way so in these cases what we do is the best practice is before you write your polynomial okay the dividend the dividend polynomial after x power 4 term you don't have x cube term so you write 0 into x cube 
you don't have x square also so you'll write 0 into x square and minus 5x x term i have and constant so when you do this way what happens is when you get x square term like this or when you get x cube term which is not there in the dividend you can happily write below this here in this case i got x square term so i can write it here okay i don't have any x cube term so it is it remains again 0 into x cube so now i have to subtract so when i subtract x power 4 x power 4 gets cancelled x cube is 0 x cube so i can just ignore it 0 into x cube is 0 again here also so i'm just ignoring it okay but x square term i have 0 x square plus 2 x square gives me 2 x square and now you bring down the remaining terms so this is your new dividend okay so again the same steps first step with the term first term of the dividend so 2x square you divide the first term of the divisor minus x square x square x square cancel and i have minus 2 okay minus 2 i have so this minus 2 will be the next term of the quotient first term of quotient sorry i erased it here so it is minus x square and the next term will be minus 2 okay so second point is with this minus 2 you will multiply your divisor so you will get 2x square minus 4 so please write it here 2x square minus 4. So x term you do you did not get now. Again please subtract. So 2x square 2x square cancels. This minus 5x comes down as it is. And plus 6 plus 4 gives you plus 10. Now again check for the degree. Here you have a second degree polynomial and here it is a linear polynomial. So which means this is your reminder. Okay. Is it clear? So you will stop the division process here. Okay. So... Now, if you want to check the divisor into the quotient plus the reminder has to give you your dividend. Is it clear people? So, this is how you do your division of polynomials with only two steps. First step, with the first term of dividend, here it is. With the first term of dividend, you just multiply yeah, first term of dividend, you just divide the first term of the divisor. Whatever you are getting is the first term of the quotient. And with this quotient term, you multiply the entire divisor. This term will come here. The same steps you repeat for each of this step. Okay. And if you are here, if the degree is less than the divisor, then this will be your reminder. Is it clear people? So I hope the division algorithm is very clear for you. So I'll give you one problem as a DIY for you. So please do it by yourself. If P of X is equals to X power 4 minus 3X square plus 4X plus 5. G of X equals to X square plus 1 minus X. Please divide both of them. And here you can see X cube term is missing. So you can write 0 X cube. And here this is not in order. So please write it in order and then start your division process. Okay. So this is the first check you do so that you don't have any, you know, havoc when you're doing it. So first write it in order and then just follow these two simple steps. So I hope the session was very useful for you. If you have still any more doubts, please let me know so that I'll clear it in the next session. Thank you so much for watching and do subscribe to Math Facilitator and the notes of this will be available in Math Facilitator website for free. So you can access the notes and do like the video, share it with all your friends and comment and let me know what type of videos you need from our channel so that we can do more and more videos which you require. So thank you so much. Bye bye. Take care.